Hi, this is Clara for Blockchain of Things. In this tutorial, we'll create a flow containing the Retrieve Asset Info node in Interactive Mode. In Interactive Mode, the end user clicks on the Action button attached to the node to call the Katenis API method using the values set in the node's Properties panel. Before you proceed with this tutorial, you should already have learned how this node works, as well as how to create a flow using this node in Runtime Mode. If you haven't yet completed these tutorials or would like to review, you can access them here. Ready to go? Let's jump right in! Drag a Retrieve Asset Info node into your workspace. Double-click it to display its Properties slide-out panel. On the Device drop-down field, choose your Katenis virtual device. Add the node's configuration information based on your needs to each field. Wire this node to a Debug node and open the Debug sidebar. Click the Deploy button. Now, let's test the flow. Click the button attached to the left of the Retrieve Asset Info node to send the values set on the Property panel through the flow to the Katenis APIs. The Debug sidebar should now display the returned JSON object containing the results. Fantastic! Now that you know how to create a flow using the Retrieve Asset Info node, it's time to move on to our next tutorial where you'll learn everything there is to know about the Get Asset Balance node. 